हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मलेश जुआलॉजी फैकल्टी इन एस आर डी पी यू कॉलेज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक न्यू चैप्टर न्यूरल कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस चैप्टर इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच टू और मोर ऑर्गन्स इंटरैक्ट एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट द फंक्शंस ऑफ वन एन अदर इज कॉल्ड द गिवन ऑप्शन ए homeostasis b coordination c accommodation d adaptation watch on board in the given options homeostasis homeostasis is nothing but the maintenance of the internal environmental conditions that process or phenomenon is called homeostasis but coordination the working together of various systems in the body is called coordination for example our muscles require greater energy which can be produced when there is a greater supply of oxygen oxygen is essential for the working of the muscles to increase the oxygen supply the rate of breathing also increases breathing already you have heard this word breathing therefore in the given options b that is coordination is the right answer move to next question the human neural system is divided into option a two parts cns and pns b two parts cns and ans c three parts cns pns and ans d three parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain in our body there are different types of the systems are present like that nervous system or neural system is also present the human neural system is divided into two parts the first one is central nervous system and second one is called as the peripheral nervous system okay. the central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord whereas peripheral nervous system consists of somatic nervous system and one more is autonomic nervous system therefore in the given options a is a right answer move to next question skeletal muscles are controlled by option a somatic nerves option b autonomic nerves c parasympathetic nerves d sympathetic nerves as you know about neural system neural system is divided into two parts central nervous system then peripheral nervous system central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord whereas peripheral nervous system includes sympathetic nervous system and autonomic nervous system okay somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system somatic nervous system it relays relays impulses from central nervous system to central nervous system to the skeletal muscles skeletal muscles whereas autonomic nervous system it transmit impulses from cns to smooth muscles therefore in the given option a is the right answer that is somatic nerves move to next question nestles granules are found in option a cell body b axon c dendrites d 
both B and C. This is the structure of neuron. Neuron is nothing but it is a structural and functional unit of nervous system. The neuron consists of mainly two parts that is cell body and axon. Next the cell body consists of or consists consist of the nucleus and the nasal granules. The nasal granules are located within the cell bodies and dendrites of neurons but absent in axon. This is the axon. These granules consisting of granular endoplasmic reticulum, granular endoplasmic reticulum and polyribosomes, polyribosomes. They are rich in RNA and stain strongly with basic dyes basic dyes they are discovered by F. Nels the German neurologist F. Nels German neurologist therefore in the given option B is the right answer move to next question scaven cells are found in myelinated nerve fibers B Unmyelinated nerve fibers C, both A and B. D option, none of these. As you have seen in last question, scaven cell, they are also called as the neurilemma cells. Neurilemma cells. In the periphery or peripheral nervous system, this cell produces the myelin sheath. This is called as the myelin sheath. Around neural axon. This is a neural axon. Okay. This type of the axon is called as the myelinated nerve fiber. But in unmyelinated nerve fibers, these cells do not or does not form a myelin sheath around the axon. Scaven cell, name given by German physiologist Theodor Scaven. Therefore, in the given option, C, that is both A and B, are the right answer. Move to next question. Nerve cells do not divide because they do not possess. Option A, nucleus. Option B, mitochondria. Option C, Golgi body. Option D, centrosome. Watch on board. As you have studied in previous question, neuron is made up of cell body and axon. And cell body consists of nucleus, then the nasal granules. Then axon consists of myelinated sheath and scaven cells and ranvier. But in the neuron, they are uh, some cell organelles like centrioles are absent. In the neuron. Ah. But in the neuron, centrioles are absent. Okay. The centrioles are microtubular ring like structures. Microtubular ring like structures. The main purpose of or the function of centrosome is to organize microtubules and provide structure for the cell as well as work to pull chromosomes or chromatids during cell division. Therefore, in the given option, D is the right answer. Move to next question. The brain can be divided into option A, three parts, cerebrum, thalamus and hypothalamus. B, three parts, pyometer, arachnoid and durameter. C, Three parts, pons, cerebellum, and medulla. Option D, three parts, forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. As you know about the nervous system in human body, the nervous system consists of the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. 
the central nervous system consists of brain and the spinal cord brain is made up of mainly three parts first part is called as the four brain it is also called as the prosencephalon prosencephalon the mid brain is called as the mesencephalon and hind brain is called as the rhombencephalon okay these are the three parts in the human brain therefore in the given options right answer is d more to next question the cerebral cortex contains option a sensory areas b motor areas c association areas d all of the above watch on board the human brain is made up of three parts as we have studied in the last question the four brain consist of four brain consist of mainly three parts first part is called as the cerebrum then second part is called as the thalamus next third part is the hypothalamus okay cerebrum the first part of the forebrain cerebrum divides into two halves two halves which are termed as the left and right cerebral hemispheres left and right these are the two halves of the cerebral hemispheres the layer of cells which covers the cerebral hemispheres is called cerebral cortex this is the cerebral cortex region cerebral cortex the cerebral cortex contains sensory areas motor areas and association areas these areas are responsible for complex functions like associations memories and communications therefore in the given options d all of the above is the right answer more to next question hormones are secreted by a neurosecretory cells of the thalamus b neurosensory cells of the thalamus c neurosecretory cells of the hypothalamus d neurosecretory cells of the hippocampus watch on board as you know about the forebrain okay forebrain is made up of cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus whereas the hypothalamus it is a part of a forebrain it is a it is located in the basal part of the diencephalon diencephalon it regulates the all the body functions all the body functions it contains several groups of neurosecretory cells neuro secretory cells neurosecretory cells which produce hormones there are two types of hormones are produced by the hypothalamus two types of hormones first type of hormone is called as the releasing hormones these are also called as the releasing hormones these hormones 
means releasing hormones stimulate the secretion of the pituitary gland pituitary gland whereas another type of hormone is called as a inhibiting hormone inhibiting hormone or hormones these hormones inhibit the secretion of the pituitary hormones next the posterior pituitary is under the direct neural regulation of the hypothalamus this is the structure of this is the structure of pituitary then this is called as a neuro hypophysis and this is called as a adeno hypophysis okay this part means adeno hypophysis is under the control of the nervous system okay in the given options c neuro secretory cells of the hypothalamus is the right answer move to next question alcohol affects the option a medulla oblongata b cerebellum c cerebral cortex d thalamus in a given question alcohol alcohol especially ethanol is a central nervous system depressant central nervous system depressant it has a side effects on the body and brain body and brain alcohol contracts brain tissues contracts brain tissues and depress the central nervous system alcohol also destroys the brain cells unlike other cells within the human body brain cells do not regenerate cerebrum helps in the maintenance of the body balance when a large amount of alcohol is consumed muscle movements become less coordinated and motor skills are reduced in some cases it can causes an individual to lose their balance or fall over therefore in the given options that is b cerebellum is the right answer move to next question the wall of the eyeball is composed of option a three layers photoreceptors bipolar and ganglion cells b three layers sclera cornea and retina option c three layers sclera choroid and cornea option d three layers sclera choroid and retina in human eye the wall of the eyeball is mainly composed of three layers they are nothing but the outer layer sclera this is first outer layer is called as the sclera then second layer is called as the choroid then third layer is called as the inner layer is called as the retina therefore in the given options d three layers sclera choroid and retina are the right answer motor next question human eye lens is option a biconcave b convex c concave d biconcave watch on board in human eye lens is a transparent transparent bicon convex biconvex means like this biconvex structure in the eye 
along with the cornea cornea it is a cornea helps to reflect light to be focus on the retina okay this is the retina the inner layer this is called as the retina therefore in the given option d that is biconvex is a right answer motor next question eustachian tube connects option a external ear with middle ear b external ear with inner ear c middle ear with pharynx d middle ear with internal ear eustachian tube is a canal that connects it is a canal connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx as you know about pharynx pharynx is divided into nasopharynx oropharynx and laryngopharynx okay nasopharynx which consist of the upper throat and the back of the nasal cavity it controls the pressure within the middle ear making it equal with the air pressure outside the body that is the functioning of the eustachian tube okay therefore in the given options c middle ear with pharynx is the right answer okay students it is the time to end this episode i think you have understood about this chapter at the end of every episode we will ask a question to the students the student question is middle ear has option a two sets of tiny bones b three sets of tiny bones c two sets of large bones d three sets of large bones please send your sms to 3884869150 in the format srdz hyphen zvo hyphen 21 type your answer either a or b or c or d the first three correct sms senders will get a gift from srdz pu college okay students in a next episode we will meet with a new topic till that time have a nice day Dine Residential School KR Nagar Harihar Admissions open from nursery to 10th CBSE syllabus Shrimati Radha Bai D Gopal Rao PU College Admissions open for PUC Science and Commerce and Vidya Daini Degree College Admissions open for BCom and BA Contact today 9448115118